Hello and welcome everybody to this video. Friends, this video is another video in the series of financial statement analysis, right? We have in our previous two videos, we have seen that what exactly do we mean by financial statement analysis, why it is carried out, who all are the stakeholders who would be benefited by using the financial statement analysis and what all are the things that one should look at for doing the financial statement analysis. Now from this video onwards, we are going to understand different techniques that can be used for doing the financial statement analysis. This video mainly focuses on the first and the foremost important technique of financial statement analysis and that is nothing but the ratio analysis. Yes, you heard it right. Friends, this is one of the most important and most widely used technique all over the world. Let us understand what exactly this technique means and how to use this technique to carry out any financial statement analysis. Okay, so now let us understand that why do we need to carry out ratio analysis? Let us understand this with the help of an example. Right, an example. Let us assume that you have a company A that has made a profit of $40 million. Is it good or bad? Of course, a company making profit is always good. But now if I tell you there is another company B and that company has made a profit of $50 million. Now which one is better? Tell me, is it company A or company B? Of course you would say company B because the profit is higher. The profit for company B is higher by $10 million as compared to the company A. But remember friends, making decisions based on a single absolute figure may mislead may mislead you and may lead to wrong decisions related to that. Now if we go further and if I give you some more information regarding the same that the sales of company A were only $100 million and of which it has created a profit of $40 million whereas the profit, the, the sales for company B were $200 million and out of $200 million now it has made a profit of $50 million. Now tell me which one's better? Yes. So for this, what we need to do, if you compare, if you take a ratio of it, let's say for company A, it is 40 upon 100, that is 40% and company B, it is 50 upon 200 million, that is 25%. So now when you compare the ratio figures for both the companies, we understand that the profitability of company A is quite better than that of the B. Yes. So when you are looking at a company, a single absolute figure may mislead you unless and until it is compared with some other figure. Yes, like in this case, only profits figures would have told you that company A is not so good, whereas company B is a better company. But when you compare it with sales, what we understood is the profitability of company A is 40%, whereas that of B is, is only 25%. And this is the basic importance of ratios. So it is very necessary that we carry out the ratio analysis. And so ratio analysis is always preferred over the absolute figures. Now friends, how to do this ratio analysis? Basically, there are five types of ratios. There are five types of ratios. And these five ratios, they serve different purposes. Let's see what are the purposes. Let's start with the first one from your left. The first type of ratio is the liquidity ratio. What do we mean by liquidity friends? Liquidity is nothing but the ability of an organization to pay off its short term debts. The ability of an organization is to pay off its short term debts. That is called as the liquidity. So we have a bunch of ratios that denote, that determine the liquidity of an organization. The another type of ratios that we have is the profitability ratios, right? The another type of ratios that is the profitability. And what does the profitability tells us? These profitability ratios that tell you the returns for the business risk. Yes, the owners, they take up the business risk by doing the business. So against that risk, what amount of returns are the owners getting it? 
what amount of returns are generated from the business by taking the business risk that is nothing but the profitability and those ratios are called as profitability ratios the third type of ratios what we have is the efficiency ratios yes friends efficiency it tells you about the ability of the organization to convert its inputs into output the ability of the organization to convert inputs into output how well is the company converting its inputs all the resources made be men machine material time into the outputs to measure this there are some ratios which are called as the efficiency ratios also called as the turnover ratios then we have the fourth type that is the leverage ratios friends what are leverage leverage is nothing but the long term debt servicing ability has the company taken any long term loans if yes is the company in a position to serve those loans how is the company paying off all its debts understanding that is the is is done by the leverage ratios and last but not the least in fact very much important from the investors point of view from many share investors point of view are the market related ratios here you look at the price earning ratio the earning per share ratio the dividend payout ratio the dividend per share ratios so these are the ratios that tell you about whether to invest in the shares of this company or no and along with that it compares the investment and the returns generated for the equity investors in the company yes so overall we have these five types of ratios now friends from our next video onwards we are going to understand each type of ratios in detail so in my next video i would be talking about the liquidity ratios what all are liquidity ratios and how to use them and how they are to be calculated and interpreted as well so to get further updates regarding my knowledgeable videos please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you really like the video thank you